Man is recovering from a shooting in Catoosa County. It happened this morning in an area where officials say crime is uncommon. Investigators still have plenty of questions about what happened. Our Angela Kim has been in Catoosa County all day. What can you tell us, Angela? Hey, Cindy. Well, officials tell me that this area is typically pretty packed when it isn't winter break, whether it's from Liberty Baptist Church behind me or Graysville Elementary, uh, Elementary School across the street. But they say that what happened today was out of the ordinary in more ways than one. It's a residential area. Kids play outside. There's an elementary school right across the street. So this type of thing is very unusual. But Tuesday morning, the streets were a little more empty than usual until cars came into the parking lot of New Liberty Baptist Church and an argument got heated. Of course, we want to find out why and we want to find out exactly, you know, what precipitated these people to meet here for whatever reason at the parking lot of the church and then leave after someone gets shot. John Pless with Catoosa County says after the man was shot, two cars drove off, one up Wooten Road, the other up Grayswell Road. However, not a lot of other details are known. The victim gave an initial statement when he was first found out on the scene that he was brought here and that he was robbed. We can't confirm that. Plus, says they've talked to different witnesses, but some details seem to contradict each other. There's some elements of this story that don't seem to add up. Information is very sketchy. Um, it's inconsistent based on some of the witnesses that the detectives have spoken with already. He says the motive behind the shooting could have been a number of things, but confirming this information will take time. Given the circumstances, we're looking at the possibility that something else may have been going on somewhere else, and then they got to this location and decided to argue some more. Again, we just don't know. For now, he wants people in the area to know there isn't an ongoing threat. But I would not call this a danger to this area. Um, there's just not a lot of that type of activity here, a lot of criminal activity where people are getting shot or getting robbed around here. Now, we did reach out to the Gatusa County Sheriff's Office, and they say they don't have a lot of information right now, as they still are trying to confirm a lot of tips that they've gotten and track down some leads they're working on as well. But they will get back to us as soon as they do have more information. But the, the Sheriff's Office does encourage anyone with any kind of tip to call into their office and let them know what they may know as well. Reporting in Gatusa County, Angela Kim, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.